Hello everyone and welcome to Ardrossan Academy's P7 Information Session. The purpose of this presentation is to let you meet with some of our senior staff, to outline the transition process for you and to show you how we support our young people. We're first going to hear from Mr Milligan who will be the year head of the new S1 and then we'll hear from Miss Reid, our pastoral deputy. My name is Jamie Milligan. I'm one of the deputy head teachers at Ardrossan Academy and I'll be the prospective year head for your child when they start with us at the school in August. So, a wee message today just to really introduce myself, uh, say a few words about my role and hopefully give you some reassurance um, that your child will be very, very well looked after when they start with us. So, in terms of my role as your head in terms of looking after your son or daughter, it's essentially really one of support and encouragement as they make their way through the school. Um, in terms of um, stability, uh, I've been here at the school a number of years now and this will actually be my third first year group that I've welcomed as a year head. So um, it's one of the, the best aspects of my job to see young people grow and develop as they work through the school. And that's something I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, I'm a consistent presence in the school and I'm around interacting with young people on a daily basis, in and out of classrooms, in the corridors, and also on duty at interval and lunchtime. So that's an important aspect as well, to provide that visibility and stability that every young person needs as a trusted adult in the school. Uh, I also have an overview of um, the progress of each learner. Um, and young person in my year groups and that really looks at their learning, how they're progressing in their learning, um, also their attendance, how they are in classes, how their relationships are, all of the things that we use to, to make a judgement in the progress of young people as they grow and develop through secondary school. A key aspect of my role also is working in partnership with young people obviously, first and foremost, um, on a daily basis as I've said earlier, um, but also with parents and carers um, being a point of contact at the school and hopefully being someone that's accessible um, and who works proactively with parents and carers to support young people. Pastoral support teachers um, are a key point of contact in the school as well and I work with those um, members of staff on a daily basis, um, supporting young people, discussing their progress and where, where required um, intervening and providing supports to ensure that they get the best out of their time at school. Um, and beyond that, in the wider scale of that, uh, working with teachers, um, non-teaching staff, clerical staff and the wide range of partners that are involved in the school. So ultimately, all of that together is geared towards ensuring, hopefully, um, that your child um, will be happy, they'll be safe, and they'll achieve their full potential in the years that they're at Adrossan Academy. Um, and that extends also to working with the head teacher, the other senior leaders, and all staff to make sure, as a school, we continuously improve uh, in order to make this place the best place to learn and to work as it can be. So, circumstances as they are make it very difficult for me to meet you in person in the traditional open evenings that we would have, but I hope to um, meet your son or daughter in person as, or sooner rather than later, I should say. Um, I certainly look forward to welcoming them in August as they start their journey with us um, at Adrossan Academy, and hopefully in the not too distant future, um, I'll get the opportunity to meet you in person um, and begin um, that really, really important homeschool um, partnership that's essential going forward. So, thanks for taking the time to listen to me today and as I said, um, I really look forward to working with your child um, and in due course also working with you in good faith and in partnership. Thank you. Bye. Hi everyone. My name's Lindsay Reid and I'm the Pastoral Deputy at Ardrossan Academy. Part of my role is that I work closely with the primaries to make sure that your child's journey to Ardrossan is as smooth as possible. As we know, we're living in unprecedented times and things have been really difficult and the normal sense of what we do has had to change. And that's no different in terms of transition. However, rest assured that we will provide support to you and to your children in moving up to Ardrossan Academy and we will have a clear transition programme. We understand that for pupils and for parents and carers, the transition to secondary school can be quite scary. After all, these are your babies and they're growing up 
and things change and they're moving on. So there's that sense of anxiety around it, but there's also a sense of pride and that they are moving on in their education as they become young adults. And we would like to reassure you that we will look after each child and regard them as an individual with their own personality, with their own likes and dislikes and their own individual needs. And we will treat each one of them fairly and consistently. Supporting our pupils is key to provision at Ardrossan Academy. We believe that wellbeing is at the centre of what we do. So we have a range of support structures in place that will help your child settle at Ardrossan and help them throughout the time they're with us. Firstly, each child has a pastoral support teacher who stays with them throughout their time at Ardrossan Academy. Now the child and you as a family will get to know the pastoral support teacher really well and they are the kind of first port of call um, in any, if there are any kind of issues. They will be a key person for your child and family and you will get to meet them at a later meeting. We will also plan for any additional support needs that your child may have, whether it be around their learning, their behaviour or their emotional wellbeing. A huge part of the transition process is about gathering information from the primaries. We visit staff, we visit classes, so that we have clear plans in place to support pupils who may need additional help. We attend team around the child meetings and review meetings so that our staff are ready to support the needs of every child. So alongside the head teacher, senior leaders, pastoral, pupil support staff and specialist provisions, we work to continuously improve support for our young people and meet their needs so that school is a place where they can feel safe, where they can be healthy, where they can achieve their full potential, where they can feel nurtured, where we give opportunities for them to be active, opportunities for them to be respected, chances for them to show responsibility and to be included in all that they do. So we work with a wide range of people to support you as parents and carers and our young people. And you as parents and carers are the most important people in this partnership. We want to work with you and have good communication so that we are able to offer a high level of support when required. And we're really looking forward to getting to meet you and getting to work with you. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through some aspects around support in terms of who are the, the people who support your child when they come to secondary and a bit more about the transition process. So thank you for listening and I'll see you all soon. So who supports each child at Ardrossan Academy? The pastoral staff are a main point of contact for pupils and every pupil will get to know their pastoral staff is a key person um, when they come to Ardrossan Academy. Additionally, every pupil has a personal support teacher who takes them for daily registration. That means that every pupil will see the same teacher for 10 minutes every morning. And that gives pupils a really great chance to build positive relationships with a number of staff. They will also get to know lots of other teachers and non-teaching staff around the school. And although all members of staff will support your child, we have a number of specialist supports that help us to get it right for every child, such as an area inclusion worker who supports pupils and families, a school counsellor who provides counselling services to pupils, a nurture base that supports pupils from first to third year in a small group environment, a pupil support base where young people can be supported with specific learning needs. A campus based police officer who supports young people and families with a range of issues. And we also have the Astra base, a North Ayrshire resource specifically for autistic young people from across North Ayrshire. We have a very supportive school nurse and we have an excellent relationship with social services. We have a chaplaincy team, we have a family learning worker and we have an MCR pathways worker who supports care experienced young people. We feel that all of these supports are crucial to giving every child the best chance of success at Ardrossan Academy. So how will we know what your child needs when they come to school? We gather a great deal of information to support the transition to secondary. Pastoral staff and senior leaders visit primaries to get to know pupils and to gather information. I, along with pastoral and pupil support staff, attend review meetings 
and I meet with all of the primary heads to talk about supports that need to be in place. We plan carefully so that pupils who do have specific needs have that plan in place for August. This means our staff will be ready and well prepared. We will know what the needs of the child are and we will know how best we can support them. Due to COVID, we've had to plan school visits slightly differently. All P7 pupils will get a two hour visit in May and our enhanced transition programme for those who need some support with the transition will start in April. Additionally, we will be having P7 parent and carers online briefings and these will be arranged directly with the primaries. We will also provide further information next term to support every P7 pupil and you as parents and carers. You will receive a transition timeline that will outline kind of key dates and things that you need to look out for. You'll also receive a parent and carer information pack and there will be further presentations and an opportunity to virtually meet some of the staff. We will also create a glow blog for pupils and this is a really good way of them finding out information about the school and everything will go in there and they're able to ask questions. We'll put all the information that we give out on our school website so that you can see at a glance how Adrosan Academy works. Towards the end of term all pupils will receive an Adrosan Academy school tie and a welcome pack. So for the induction day each pupil will visit with their primary classes on either Tuesday the 4th of May or Thursday the 27th of May. This will be a two hour visit in their primary school groups. It will be led by pastoral support and pupil support staff. Pupils will get a tour of the school. They will also get to meet all those staff who are going to support them and they will take part in a number of fun activities. We also want to ensure that we provide strong support to pupils who require more help with the transition to secondary. Primaries will identify those pupils and we will embark on our enhanced transition programme in April. This may mean additional visits, either with parents or with small groups, and you will get extra support from our Drossen Academy staff. So if your child is part of that, we will let you know as soon as possible. We hope that this presentation has given you an idea of the transition process and a flavour of how we support pupils at our Drossen Academy. Over the course of the next session, you'll get more information and you'll get to meet some of the support staff. And you'll find out about the more practical things like uniform, how the canteen works, attendance and the school day. We will now leave you with a short video showing lots of amazing things that happen at our Drossen Academy. Thank you for listening.
Thank you.